Well, hello. I'm Sarah Orr, and thank you for visiting my website, RateItCrazy.com. Now, I feel like not everybody loves to read, me included. So I thought it would be fun if I added a video to each blog of me reading it to you. So you don't even have to use your brain, you can just listen. I will warn you though, if there are children present, your boss, other employees, you're going to want to put some headphones on because um, it's about to get crazy. So this first blog is entitled, Damn You, Rob Hubel. Rob Hubel, a name that will haunt my dreams. Some of you may know him. Most of you probably have no idea of his existence. Rob Hubel is a semi-famous actor slash comedian, but more importantly, he has held a spot on my future husband list for quite some time. My FHL is a mental list I keep of men who I would consider marrying at some point in time. There is only one way to secure a spot on my list. You must be freaking hilarious. Not too sexy or too famous, that way I don't have to worry about you cheating on me with dirty whores, but period, point blank, you have to make my panties wet from laughter. I have never actually met any of the men on my list in real life until recently. As I was walking into my building a couple weeks ago, I noticed Rob Hubel walking in right behind me. You can imagine my surprise. What are the odds of someone on my FHL living in my building? I mean, come on. Obviously, this was fate, and we really were meant to get married and have ridiculously funny children. All I had to do was play it cool, introduce myself, and let my witty sexual nature do the rest. Well, it didn't exactly go as planned. In a uh, creepy stalkerish way, I asked Mr. Hubel if he lived in the building. Mind you, as I said this, I continued to walk backwards and grasp the wall with a look of utter astonishment and awe on my face. Instead of telling him I was a fan of his work in Ask Cat, Best Week Ever, or Human Giant, I decided to say, I'm your friend on MySpace. I drive a performance vehicle? That's me. The man looked completely weirded out. And who could blame him? I just couldn't keep it together. I'm normally a witty bitch. Guys love me. But this wasn't just any guy. This was a man, a funny man. I left that encounter with a newfound mission. Don't act like a psycho the next time I see him. Pray I'm wearing something slutty. And also try to work marriage into the conversation. Days passed. But finally, one night, I was leaving the bar across the street from my apartment when I spotted him approaching the front door. I sprinted across the street like a 12-year-old chasing the backstreet boys and casually walked in behind him. From behind me, I could hear one of my friends sarcastically yell, Oh my God, is that Rob Hubel? Because all my friends find my future husband slipping through my fingers hilarious. <sighs> As Rob walked through the lobby, I could tell he was holding in laughter. He probably thinks I recruited more Rob Hubel stalkers and we have weekly meetings across the street. I was pretty sure a restraining order was in my near future. Then last week happened. Last Wednesday pretty much solidified the fact Rob Hubel will never marry me and is probably looking for a new apartment. 5 a.m. Wednesday night, Thursday morning, I get home. I'm a little drunk, but uh, coherent. I have two guy friends with me. Not how it seems. We get to the door and I realize I lost my flippin' keys. I go to hail a cab when I hear one of my friends yell, Sarah, don't worry, this guy will buzz us in. I turn around and who do I see? Rob fucking Hubel. At his window looking confused and irritated after being woken at 5 a.m. Out of all the windows they could have knocked on, they had to choose his. Considering all prior events, Rob Hubel obviously thinks I'm a psycho alcoholic stalker who enjoys threesomes at 5 a.m. I mean, 
My exes thought I was crazy, but they were already addicted to the sex by the time they completely figured it out. Rob hasn't even gotten to see me at the beginning of the night when I look hot and smell clean. Just at the end when I reek of booze and cigarettes and look like I've been dry humped against a wall for five hours. To top it off, yesterday I was in front of my building talking to my mom about a sexual dream I had about RH. When he, where he was a Central Park Ranger and I started an illegal fire and he had to punish me. When he walked outside, and I think he may have heard me, hopefully he didn't hear the part about the marshmallows or the ninja stars. Who am I kidding? I should just delete the sexiest Central Park Ranger I have ever seen from my future husband list. I should just be happy I don't have a restraining order or unsightly scars due to improper use of ninja stars. Damn you, Rob Hubel. Damn you. I will remember you fondly every time I pass by your door on the way to the stairs. Only now, I won't stop and caress your peephole ever so slightly. I have to let you go. I just have to keep telling myself you have a small penis. I may also want to consider drinking less and getting rid of that tattoo. Oh, P.S. Stephen Lynch, if you read this, you just got boomed up a spot. So give me a call sometime. My number is in the stall of most NYC restrooms. The end. So I hope you enjoyed story time. I hope you enjoy my site, ratedcrazy.com. More videos are to come for each blog. All right.